sleep. I just feel like my laugh is a movie. My laugh is a movie, guys. A little bit of comedy, thriller, horror, action. You know, I don't see the romance. I don't see it. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what it is, Nam? When you watch people's videos and you enjoy it and you don't lock it and you don't subscribe, it's like, what can I say? It's like you going to someone's house and you don't knock, you just go inside, you eat all their food, you put your feet up, you enjoy yourself, and then you leave. You don't say hi, and that is not the way to go. And I know your mother did not raise you that way. So please don't come and violate my house without greeting or asking me to serve you, because if you ask me, I'll serve you. I'll give you food, I'll give you nice food. So how does it apply with YouTube, Benita, you ask? Well, in this case, it just means give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I was not actually planning to record a video. This week, I was planning on posting something more light, but unfortunately, news hit on Monday, Monday night to be precise, that international students who go to universities or colleges that are gonna be fully online next semester have to go back to their home countries. They will be deported and they will not be allowed to stay here. And I was like, huh? Oh my God. I'm gonna insert a clip of myself with my initial reaction when I found out about this. <laughs> oh my days. So I just wanted to record this in the moment because news is broke that ICE is going to deport international students if their universities switch to fully online learning. I mean, this is shocking. This is really, really shocking. You know, why would you? I don't even understand what. Put my phone down. Hold on. Got my little plant here for the aesthetic. I know this is a weird angle. Sorry about that, my good people. But like, I don't even understand why they would even do this. Why does this make sense? If the universities go fully online, it's not like, it's not our fault. You know, we are just as victim as anyone else is. And you want to put us on planes, of which it's unsafe to do, and send us back to our countries. And you don't even know what the situation looks like in your country. I mean, from what I'm reading, Gauteng is about to take the lead with Western Cape of cases. Like, cases are rising in SA. It's dropping. It's hitting. It's, it's shaking. It's moisturizing. Like, this is crazy, you know? And this is the land of the free? This is the land you're celebrating? Ha, huh, wow. And what are you even gonna say about this? This is not, we're not illegal immigrants. What are you gonna say now? You justified putting people in cages, saying that they're illegal, putting children in cages and separating families, claiming that they're illegal. What are you gonna say now? What now? I mean, even putting people in cages in the first place was not okay. And it's not, it is not okay. This is the land. This is the land of the free. This, this one. Wow. To my knowledge, and I don't know this law word for word. I know there is a law that says that if you're on a student visa, you can't be like learning 100% online. That's like a pre-existing law, right? But like, I'm just thinking like, now is not the time for you to be enforcing this law you know it's not like someone has decided to come break the law and do this like we are literally this pandemic has us all shook like we're all we're all going through it all of us none of us could have planned this none of us did this on purpose i mean how is getting rid of international students gonna really deal with your corona cases hmm are you gonna deal with florida opening up as beaches and california opening up Cases are rising. You trying to get rid of international students? Is that going to deal with the black people who are being lynched all over this country? Is that going to deal with racist painting over the Black Lives Matter sign? Hmm? Yeah, man, like, I just wanted to make this video because really this, this news has me shocked. Um, 
And um, honestly, I just feel like my laugh is a movie. My laugh is a movie, guys. A little bit of comedy, thriller, horror, action. You know, I don't see the romance. I don't see it. Hmm? I'm not seeing the romance. I'm seeing comedy. I'm seeing thriller. I'm seeing action. I'm seeing horror. Yeah. Where is it now? Where is it now? A little bit of sci-fi here. Hmm? Instead of my life being a movie where I win money. No, no. We're not winning money here. We're being kicked out of countries. Anyway, it's not my portion. I'll break that in Jesus' name. Amen. So, guys, fast forward to today. I just had a meeting with the officials in my school who handle or work with the international students just to find out what does this mean for us. My school is online, in person, and hybrid. So, hybrid being half online, half in person, or however they choose to work it out. So, that means that we are not facing deportation however there are some things that we have to consider so for instance international students cannot take more than one online course now that may be a bit challenging or tricky now because a lot of professors not all but some are opting to go for online courses and courses have been changing in light of coronavirus so I had to look at my schedule and so far it's just one course that has been changed to online and the others are not going to be online so it seems that I'm already naturally safe however I will have have to keep an eye out on that to see if anyone else changes and if they do change I will have to change my course and go for a course that is going to be either hybrid or in person another thing is for those who did decide to go home in this time they will need to apply for new visas yo guys you know how much of a stress it is getting an American visa guys you know yo Yo, the things you have to go through, the money you've got to pay, some of them are going to have to get new visas. And there's something called an I-20 form that all international students have to have, guys. It's like your ID. It's as good as your passport. Whenever you want to leave and come back into America, you have to have your I-20. If you don't have your I-20 and it hasn't been signed recently, you will not be let into the country. All of our I-20s are now invalid. All of us are going to need to get new I-20s. And for those who are choosing to stay in their countries and learn online, they will not be given an, an active I-20 because they're not going to be in the country, which means that they will have to, again, apply for a new I-20. So some people are gonna have to get whole new visas and I-20s. I mean, we all need I-20s, but for them it's different because they have to apply all over again. And it's really crazy, but I'm really grateful that I stayed here. As you know, I've posted some videos where I spoke about me being here and how it's been sort of challenging and I'm pushing through. Some days are good, some days are bad, but you know, we're moving through it. We move. That's what we do. We move. At the end of the day, it's so good and it's a blessing that I did choose to stay here and choose to face these hardships because if I had gone back to South Africa, man, the hardships I'd be facing now, first of all, Corona's peaking. I mean, it's peaking in America, but it's peaking in SA. Imagine having to apply for visa and stuff like that when there's Corona and things are weird and it's tense. What if it gets declined? I don't know, dude. So it's actually been a real blessing that I did decide to stay here and I really do thank God for that. But reality is there are some international students who did decide to stay here, who go to universities that have said, you know what, we're gonna be online. And those people are now having to face deportation. They have to go home. What's their education going to look like and this stuff is really sad someone who was in the meeting today was basically told that she now falls out of visa status because of the nature of her program and she'll have to defer for a year or a semester now imagine your life being held back for like four months six months or a whole year because of something that's out of your control you know so this is real life real people you know corona as a whole none of us could have ever predicted this but i guess now that this is our reality, we just have to move smartly. That means having your mask on, be careful where you go. You know, there are states that opened up that are now having to reclose again. States like Florida and California that opened up and now their numbers are peaking all over again and now they face emergency closing. The mayor of Atlanta herself got coronavirus, so yeah man like this thing is really really tense you know so we just have to be smart as people we have to take responsibility we have to put on our face mask we have to show socially distance we have to quarantine for 14 days if we've been exposed and just make smart decisions guys like let's let's make smart decisions about our finances our money we don't know how long this is gonna last we don't know when or if unemployment is gonna hit our homes or something like that and we won't have money so those of you who are getting stimulus checks make sure you're really being responsible about those checks those of you who 
still have a job make sure that you're putting together a fund for just in case because we don't know what's gonna happen but honestly all I do know and as I said yesterday is that honestly God is good God has my back God is with me and worry about nothing pray about everything God did not give me the spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind I do have faith and belief that this too shall pass honestly I know it's hard but we just have to keep our faith we just have to be strong we have to keep praying we have to keep pushing you know when the going gets tough we need to get tougher that's just what we have to do we have to get tougher and getting tougher doesn't mean ignore your mental health don't ignore your mental health make sure you take care of your mental health so you can keep being tough because you need to be mentally strong and physical strength will follow but it all starts in the mind sharpen your mind keep your mind sharp take care of your mental health take care of yourself that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos any videos that you guys want to see comment down below and i'll definitely make it happen for you guys peace and love <laughs>